power's been off since seven seven o'clock last night and I just showed you the temperature of the refrigerator we had a major windstorm here and this video is going to be about how I turn on my portable generator and what I use it for we'll talk about the three appliances that I'm going to run off that generator this morning. So let's see if we can get through this video without PG&E turning the power back on. But for now, the power is off. Power is off. I had to cook on the camp stove last night. So that's where we are. Microwave's out. The refrigerator's out. And we definitely have that pellet stove out because it's cold in here. Pellet stove's out. So this video is going to be about how I turn on that generator down there and get it going. Well, first things first. The range has started outside, so this is going to be interesting. But you got to have the fuel that you need to get the mission accomplished. So I'm going to go ahead and pour the coffee in the cup. A little bit of coffee I saved from yesterday. And uh, let's get to this, man. The next step is to get the generator into the position you want it. This one's got wheels on it. It's going to make it a little easier. So this particular generator runs on gasoline or propane. For this video I'm doing the gasoline. To get it ready to start there's three things we need to do. I need to plug the battery in. This little plug goes right in there. I need to turn the fuel on, turning that knob down. And then I need to come over here to the back side and I need to push the choke over. This switch right here. Push. It's careful. It's it's easy to break off. It's kind of plastic and cheap. Push it all the way over. It goes two positions. Push it all the way over. That's what I'm going to do. So now with that done, I'm going to turn the battery on. Put that switch up. And this is the electric start. If the electric start didn't work or the battery was dead, I would just use the pull start down here, which works really well. But for now, we're just going to start it with this. Hello, dog friend. Do you find me doing the generator? So to turn this off, you just push the switch down, turn it off and then turn this one off. The way to put this thing to bed when you're done is to leave everything on and just turn the gas off. So this this knob will go to the side and you'll hear it choking and dying. We don't want the gas to stay in the line. <clears throat> How come your raincoat is falling off? It's not supposed to fall off like that. We don't want the fuel to stay in the line and be in there until the next time I try to start it. So. In order to kill this thing at the end of the day, I'm going to leave everything just the way it is and I'm going to turn this up. Up to shut off the fuel. It'll run on, run the gas out of the line and, uh, and then I'll turn everything off and unplug the battery. But for now, we're going to start it back up. Before I do that, because it's so noisy, I want to talk about the uh, electrical cord I got all set up and ready to go. So over here, I got this high duty, or heavy duty, uh, three prong grounded, long extension cord. And what I've done is I've plumbed it into the underside of my house and I have run it upstairs and I'll show you where it comes out at behind the couch. It's pretty, uh, pretty elementary. All I'm going to do is take that cord, plug it into the generator, and then I'll have electricity 
at the uh, at the end of this up in the house and I'll show you what I do with it from there okay now we're up here behind the couch and you can see that's the head of the mic or head of the uh, extension cord that we just saw downstairs it comes up through the floor and this particular extension cord has a little light in it so I know it's going all right so and that's pretty simple I just it's just an extension cord running from the generator now there's a couple more things going on here you see that light in the back there that is a uh, heavy-duty surge protector and that will I use that one I have two of them I use that one for the pellet stove all right so it's sitting down there and I will plug you can see the lights on it's plugged in here just like that so now that I have power to that surge protector down there I will unplug the um, I'll unplug the uh, pellet stove from the wall and just plug it into that surge protector pretty simple now the other side of this extension cord goes to the other um, to the other surge protector which is over here by the refrigerator but that's all I have and then I have this extra um, extra extension cord that's just for miscellaneous things but that's all I need so um, this is what it looks like behind here and again this is permanently I just leave it here all the time that head of the uh, extension cord will sit down there and the other extension cord just rolled up behind here and then that that uh, surge protector down there just leave it down there everything is here all the time in events like this so let's go take a look and see uh, see what it looks like over there at the um, at the refrigerator okay and there's the extension cord it's going that way over to the refrigerator okay here we are next to the refrigerator and this is this is that um, heavy-duty surge protector, just like the one uh, back over there by the pellet stove. Everything is three-pronged and grounded. What we have here is an on-off switch. This is the plug to the back of the refrigerator. Would normally be plugged in the wall behind the refrigerator, but I'd have to move the refrigerator to plug it in. So, it is plugged in here. The refrigerator is plugged in here. That is the plug to the surge protector and this is a short extension cord coming off the back of the wall behind the refrigerator so normally the power comes through here from the wall into the surge protector and then the refrigerator is in line to that what I've done is unplugged it and I normally do that uh, before this whole operation starts so it's a simple matter of just plugging in that orange extension cord into here and the refrigerator is going to go on all right, and then we have a second port here. I'll show you what I do with that. All right, so I'm back over here by the pellet stove. And the only thing I have to do is plug the pellet stove in. Of course, I'll have to light the pellet stove and everything else. But for now, I've unplugged it from the wall, and I'm gonna plug it in back over there. I'll skinny in behind the couch and then I'm going to plug it in. Plug it in right there. And while I'm here I should mention you see the plug that's already in? There's two positions on this on this um, surge protector. That plug that's already plugged in is that dark extension cord that is behind the couch. That's just for anything else, miscellaneous stuff. I've used it for the uh, microwave or whatever else we need a fan or whatever but uh, I'm going to run the microwave from a different port so by the end of this operation I'll have the um, I'll have the pellet stove plugged in I'll have the refrigerator plugged in and the microwave those are the three appliances I talked about but anyway that plug right there just is uh, just is that dark extension cord laying behind the couch over there and uh, it ain't doing nothing just laying there I just use that for anything else I might need. But everything coming out of the generator is routed through one of these two 
industrial size surge protectors. And there's the princess. So the final step in this web of extension cords is this, uh, this second extension cord. I'm going to plug that into the microwave so I can use my microwave. In order to do that, I got this old style funky microwave that works fantastic. In order to do that, up here behind the microwave, that's the plug. Whoa, there we go. That's where the microwave is plugged into. I'm going to unplug that plug and I'm going to plug it in the red extension cord or whatever extension cord I happen to grab, which is plugged into there. Get it? All I got to do is unplug the extension cord, plug it into here, and we're good to go. That is it. I'll put a couple of photographs, maybe one of the pellet stove running, and uh, that's it. This is about the time after I get everything hooked up. This is about the time that PG&E will come along and turn the power back on. Now that I've wired everything, lined it all up. But uh, we don't have any more wind right now. And uh, they say it's going to rain a little bit. But for now, everything is calm in the park. That's how I do my, my, little, ex my little extension cord setup. You can't see it from here, but the generator is down there underneath the deck. By the way, I point that exhaust port out, out from underneath my deck so that uh, exhaust isn't coming up into, into the back porch here. There's, you know, there's generators right there. So I pointed that intentionally, pointed that exhaust that way. All right, so that's how we do it. Signing off from the park, Cameron Park.